Hello, uh, my name is Koji Kobayashi, and I was the winner of the ISSA Graduate Paper Award back in 2010. In this talk, I will speak about what the, my research was about, uh, how it helped shape my career, and what it all means to the field of sociology of sport and beyond. So to start with, what was the research paper about? The research paper was derived from my PhD thesis that I comp completed at the University of Otago in New Zealand under the supervision of Steve Jackson and Mike Sun. And here's a photo of Steve and Mike in the middle, along with Jay Shera, Sarah G and myself. The photo was taken at 2008 ISSA conference in Kyoto, Japan, which was the first ever international conference that I attended. I'm sure that you can sense that ISSA conference brings full of joy, engagement, and collegiality for all. The paper was entitled Globalization, Corporate Nationalism, and Nike Advertising, representing Bukatsu to negotiate that global local nexus in Japan. Its updated version uh, was in turn published in the International Review for the Sociology of Sports journal in 2012. So if you are interested in details of the research, I encourage you to access and read the article itself. To speak about the research uh, paper briefly here, the research was about understanding how Nike, as an American-originated company, incorporated local physical culture and symbols in Japan when producing a local advertising campaign. The theoretical approaches of this research were underpinned by globalization, which is an assertion that any form or material of culture is changed to accommodate uh, local specificities and sensibilities and when it is disseminated across the borders. Theoretically also, localization means that whatever we do uh, matter because our individual agency is considered strong in countering or negotiating the forces of globalization in anything from products and institutions to culture and language. From the previous literature, we knew that the companies like Nike were using local cultures and symbols when marketing its brand overseas, such as Japan. What we didn't know was how the decision were made to include or exclude certain aspects of representation and who were involved in the decision making from different organizations and positions. My research addressed this question about how does a company produce rep a representation of national identity. By conducting interviews with a range of marketers and creatives, including those from Nike headquarters, Nike Japan and its advertising agency, Wyden and Kennedy Tokyo. In result, the research revealed that the local physical culture and sports system called Bukatsu, or extracurricular school sport club activities in Japan, were central to the shaping of sporting experience for the Japanese youth and therefore incorporated into the production of selected Nike advertising campaign. The interview data uh, further revealed the important role of local employees and partners who practiced Bukatsu in their youth to negotiate inclusion or exclusion of what is authentic representation of Bukatsu and Japanese culture more generally. Or to put it more simply, what this all means is that struggles, conflicts, and resistance, which were considered almost exclusively as reactions of consumers, actually exist in our core, also within the realm of commercial production for things such as advertising, marketing, and media. Secondly, how did the paper shape my career? The Awards certainly gave me early recognition in the field. It also gave me confidence that I could make a living as an academic and also a sense of belonging to the ISSA and the field of sociology of sports more generally. 
However, uh, here's a precaution to those postgrad students who are considering to submit your papers to the award. You may have rosy expectations uh, that it gives you a lot of immediate job offers after winning. Uh, for me, the winning of the Graduate Paper Award felt like winning the Rookie of the Year in sport. And when you win the Rookie of the Year, uh, you would expect your career is on the rise and a lot of teams are after you for signing lucrative contracts. Well, that was not the case uh, for me, unfortunately. Nevertheless, when I first landed the proper job as a lecturer at Lincoln University in New Zealand, a member of the selection committee was specialized in the sociology of sports. So I'm 100% certain that ISSA GPA and its subsequent publication in IRSS gave the committee very good impressions of my achievements as an emerging scholar, if not the rookie of the year in the field. So it did help in developing my career and keeping me in the job of studying something that I'm really passionate about, uh, which is sport. One of the highlights of attending an academic conference has been the moment of encountering someone who I met for the first time in person saying that, uh, oh, you are the one who wrote about globalization and Nike. I like the work very much. Uh, it also felt great uh, when uh, someone who's more established than I was in the field acknowledged that they knew my name uh, and they read and used my work for their own uh, research and teaching. I think the award helped raising awareness of my work uh, within the academic community of sociology of sports for sure. Thirdly, or lastly, how did the paper contribute to the field and beyond? The line of research that I've done for my PhD is something that I have kept pursuing. For instance, I was recently invited to write a book chapter on Nike advertising, which steered public controversies in Japan. And I also have a plan to extend the inquiry into the recent development through which companies like Nike are increasingly involved in supporting and sponsoring activists, athletes like Colin Kaepernick, Megan Rapinoe, and Nami Osaka. What I see from these developments is that the issues of fairness, equity, and justice, which are essential values that we uphold in sociology, are now a serious agenda for any business to address and engage in today's environment. As our field is in the position to lead the discussions regarding such values, I think that sociology of sports has a bigger role to play in theorizing social change and justice and promoting them across every corner of society, including the business of sport. And that's all for me. Thank you for watching and listening. And whenever you see me at the conference, please come and say hi and uh, say that I saw your video and you will make my day. Uh, please let me treat you to uh, treat you to uh, coffee drink at the conference. Uh, so I'll see you there and, and thank you very much.